the other one here as well. And it was, as I can kind of see over here, port 1202 and 1201. So let's go ahead and say 1201. UDP. No encryption. Um, client. You got to make sure these things all uh, are the same as the server. And I'm actually going to need to pull get that pre-shared key because I... It's not in my uh, clipboard anymore, so we'll go ahead and paste that. And that should be good. Just go ahead and create the VPN connection. I'm also going to want to create another one here. And you can even see the Oops, I forgot to name it, but anyway, it's uh, that VPN03 down at the bottom, and it shows it's connected, which is what we want to see. Um, I'll go ahead and create a new one. Again, pre-shared key. Paste my pre-shared key, no encryption, client, UDP. You can do TCP IP, but everything I've seen suggests UDP works better. Um, and let's see here. This time, I believe I'm going to use what? port 1202 so 1202 and I guess I'll just call this 2 I have kind of better descriptions on the ones I set up I'm just kind of going through this a bit fast um, whoops what did I mess up oh I forgot to put in the IP address here which is gonna be dot nine two and save and this basically should ensure that my VPN connections are going through my multiple connections here so here's my two new ones I just created right here um, right here these two and they're both connected which is what I want to see um, sometimes the it says the same IP address simply because uh, all outgoing traffic by default is going to go out of a the main IP interface um, if you specify the local IP address to use as one of the these options and parameters on the server side, you can fix that. But I, I really, other than it saying the wrong IP, I don't think it's really causing any problems. Okay, now on the server side, I should be able to see my two connections now. And they sh should have been on different... But they're showing the same IP address here, so that's a problem so it's either because my static route or because I'm guessing that it's maybe I do need to have the the interface option here which I can pull off my that's my, maybe why I did that it's been a while since I've done it so I don't remember everything there's a dash dash local option and you can specify the IP address so um, one was dot nine one on twelve port twelve oh one. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do here is add a parameter, and I'm gonna make sure it equals the IP address that I specified to connect to. And I can go ahead and copy and paste that, save it. And then the other one's going to be, whoops, dot nine two. And this was on the server side. The only other thing is, is maybe I used the wrong IP addresses because this box has about five IPs. I can ver it was nine one and dot nine two. So let me verify my static routes are set up like that. Yeah, they are. So back to the VPN here, and they're now both showing connected. Okay, this is see, and now this time you'll notice that now they don't list the main IP. They both list nine one and dot nine two, and they're both nine zero before, which was the main IP of the the server. 
And if I go on this side, now the other issue is fixed too. So I guess specifying the correct IP when you have sub IPs on the interface does need to get done because otherwise that'll cause issues. So uh, I remember doing that, but I couldn't remember exactly why. Um, as you can see now, it's listing two different IPs for the VPN connections, which means it's correctly going through my two different connections, which is exactly what we want. Um, next thing is actually um, setting up the bonding. Um, you don't, it has to be done on both ends. You don't actually need to assign an IP address to the um, VPN connections because they're just going to basically be slaves. These are the two new ones I set up. They're going to be just slaves of the bond interface. And you'll want to set an IP on the actual uh, bonded interface. So I'll go ahead and set up a new bond interface here. And the VPN 6 and 7 are, are the, the two that I just set up here. So I'm going to make this new bond interface with 6 and 7 in it. And you fault tolerance and load balancing, I would suggest. Uh, it says load balancing, but um, it's, it says round, it's it's load balancing of packets, not really load balancing uh, in the traditional sense. So y you do actually get more throughput on a single connection due to the fact that it's just alternating packets versus um, load balancing connections. So I'll go ahead and create the new bond interface. And then I want to do the exact same thing on my end. Oops, I need to go over to the network here. And new bond. And VP, on this case, it's VPN 3 and 4. And so I'll go ahead and create that. And then now you'll see I've got two bond connections. Both of them are up. Let me refresh here. Okay, um, next what you want to do is assign an IP address to both. So we've got the server end here. I typically use the standard uh, slash 24 in CIDR, um, i.e. having dot one as a gateway. So I typically will do that. You want to hit, um, well not add IP, add IP because it doesn't have an IP address yet. And you can just make this anything you want. Um, in this case, I'm just going to make it 10.99.50.1. Um, and because it's a 24, it's 255.255.0 here. So basically, that's the settings I'm using. And I'm going to do the same thing on my end, except instead of... Uh, the IP address I'm going to do is instead of being dot one, I'm going to make it dot two. It can really be anything you want. Make sure my VPN.